in question number two, uh, figure seven point one shows a circuit containing twelve volts power supply, some resistance, and an emitter whose resistance is so small that it may be ignored. Look at the diagram, children. In this figure, two resistance six ohm and three ohm are there in a parallel combination. We have another two resistors. 2 ohm and 4 ohm, they are in series combinations. And now what do you have to calculate in these questions? Look at the first part. Determine the potential difference across the 2 ohm resistor. You have to calculate potential difference across 2 ohm. Here, what the voltmeter rate? You need to calculate that value of volt rate. You try yourself, children. Children, first you try yourself, then I will explain how you find out the potential difference across the two ohm resistor. Okay, children, you keep doing and let me explain. Uh, potential difference, look at this situation, children, okay? And then think, think how you will find. Now this two ohm resistor and uh, four ohm resistor, they are in series, you know. And once I have given you equation, if you have to find, you know, in series combination, potential is different across the each resistor. And I have given you one equation to calculate the potential. And what is that equation, children? That is V1 equal to V R1 divided by R1 plus R2. So I will apply this equation here. What is V? V is that the total volt is given in the statement, in the diagram 12. What is R1? R1 is the resistance of 2 ohm resistor divided by 2 plus 4 and this will be 12 multiplied 2 divided by 6 so 6 to the 12 2 to the 4 so this voltmeter will measure a potential difference of 4 volt across this combination of resistor even they can ask you they have not asked here in this question but they can also ask what is the potential difference across the eight ohm resistor, sorry, uh, four ohm resistor. So what will be the resist, sorry, voltage across the four ohm resistor? Again, you have to use the same equation V2. V is 12, R1 is, now we are calculating V2, so you need to take a R2. R2 is four divided by R1 plus R2, that is again same four plus two six, 6 to the 12 and this is equal to 4 to the 8 8 volt so and again children this is 8 volt across this combination across this combination across this resistor actually a 4 ohm and uh, if you recall when we were talking about the resistance in series and parallel i have given you one information that the total voltage is always equal to the sum of the voltage across the two different kind of resistor so we have 12 volt means if you connect it, let me erase this screen. And if I connect a voltmeter here, across the two combination here, so it will read 12 volt. It will read 12 volt, but individually here, it is four and here it is eight. And their sum is again, eight plus four, 12 volt. So, you have many method to do this question children when you are able to calculate the voltage here that is 4 volt then it is understood what is the total voltage 12 12 minus 4 that will be the remaining voltage or the potential across the second resistor or on here let me move ahead 
So these are the things, children, that uh, I'm telling you here. You have to listen carefully. And again, there are many methods to do these questions. Whatever the methods, whatever your teacher, tutor, explain you, use that method. Answer should match. And now after that, <coughs> uh, we have calculated the potential difference. State the potential difference across the three ohm resistor. Potential difference across the three ohm resistor. Now look at the this figure, children. Where is three ohm? Three ohm is here. It is in parallel with six ohm, and we know in a parallel combination voltage remains same. Whatever the voltage we have, that is twelve volt. In a parallel combination means if you connect a voltmeter here, you will find the voltage is twelve volt. If you connect a voltmeter here, you will find that the voltage still it is 12 volts. So in parallel combination, the voltage will remain. Whatever the voltage is across 6 ohm, that is the voltage across the 3 ohm. In a parallel combination, no, uh, voltage remains same, but current divide. So parallel combination is called current divider circuit and a series combination called voltage divider circuit. Next. B2 children now. No, no, no. B1. Calculate the effective resistance of 2 ohm and 4 ohm resistor connected in series. Already they said they are in series. Even they can also say calculate the effective resistance of 2 and 4. 2 and 4 ohm resistor. So those students who are not know how to know that these are in series and parallel. So if it is given, then you have to use the direct equation. What is the equation in series combination? You have to just add them. 2 plus 4 series combination equation. Rs equal to the sum of the resistance. Are uh, they asking about this 2 and 4? So you have to take 2 plus 4. That is equal to 6 ohm. Now the next. These are the same. This is the simple question. And uh, calculate the effective resistance of 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistor in parallel. Again, children, I'm not going to tell you how to find out. Uh, you know the equation. R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. 6, 3 is 18. 6 plus 3, 9. 18 divided by 9, that is equal to 2 ohm. So remember that the in parallel combination, resistance is 2. And uh, for the bottom one, uh, that the resistance is 6. Now let's move ahead and uh, then calculate the reading on ammeter. That, that is important part. Calculate the reading on the emitter. Now look at the where is emitter. Find out where is emitter in the circuit. Okay. So I see that this is the emitter here, and you have to find how much current is entering in this circuit, and that will be the current passing through this. And uh, it will take some time, children, that to find out the current passing through the emitter. Because we don't know how much current is produced by the battery and whatever the current is produced by the battery so that some part of the current will go along this side. Suppose it is I1 and the remaining part, remaining part means that is I minus I1. You can write I2 also. That will pass through the, the two resistance which are in series 2 and 4. So first here you need to calculate children that the total current I need to calculate the current through 6 ohm and 3 ohm resistor. So, you know, children, uh, recall that equation I have given you. Whenever you have to find current in parallel combination, there is an equation I1 equal to I. Opposite resistance we have to take here, R2 upon R1 plus R2. And similarly, for calculating the second current, any other current, I2 equal to I into R1 upon R1 plus R2. Let me try to apply this equation. But again, children, that here I is required, that total current. So before going further, try to find out the total current produced by this battery. So to find the total current, I total, uh, that is the total voltage, that is 12, I equal to V upon R. 
so here r is the total resistance of this entire combination children entire circuit diagrams effective resistance so uh, what is the resistance of this part 6 3 is a 9 18 and divided by 6 plus 3 9 2 ohm so uh, if i redraw this diagram i will suppose this is a 12 volt battery and i got here a one resistance whose value is now 2 ohm children okay instead of writing 6 and 3 i have calculated that the overall resistance of these two and uh, this one 2 and 4 they are in 6 ohm so it means i have another resistance whose value is 2 plus 4 that is 6 ohm and now we have this combination and ammeter is here if they are in parallel combination 2 and 6 so find out that their effective resistance 6 to the 12 let me write here 6 to the 12 and divided by 6 plus 2 8 and this will be 4 3 the 4 to the 3 by 2 that is 1.5 3 by 2 uh, so R total, the, the entire resistance of this combination, I got 3 by 2. So 3, I can write here, 2 will be here, 3 for the 12 and 4 to the 8. 8 ampere is the current that is produced by the battery children. So here it is 8 ampere. Still, it is not the answer that, uh, that the emitter will uh, measure 8 ampere. No, no, no children. This is the total current produced by the battery. Now. After this, what you have to do? What you have to do, children? Now listen carefully. I have written this equation. Look at this equation, children. Look at this equation. And uh, I need to calculate uh, the current, this current which is going in this circuit, that will be measured by the ammeter. And uh, I1 equal to I. What is I? 8 ampere. Put that value. Now, opposite resistance R2. What? what this r2 is here now look at this diagram children look at this circuit diagram that i have redrawn so now we have six and three they are in parallel so their total resistance is two ohm and uh, this two and four they are in series their total resistance i have taken six so they are talking about r2 when you are calculating i1 you have to take opposite resistance opposite resistance means you have to take this six ohm here 6 divided by R1 plus R2. R1 is 2, this one 2 children, and R2 is 6. So this will be 8, 6 of 48, and 6 plus 2, 8, and finally it is 6 ampere. 6 ampere is the current that will be measured by the ammeter here. And uh, it is also understood that children, you can also apply this equation to calculate that answer should be 2 ampere children. Because total current is 8 ampere produced by the battery. And if 6, 6 ampere is going this side, so it means the remaining current of 2 ampere that will pass through the 2 ohm resistor and 4 ohm resistor. Let me use this equation to cross verify whether this answer will be, even if they have not asked this part children, but I'm telling you. In IGCC exam, they may ask. If you have to find out I2, let me, uh, I have to make some space here, children. Let me use the result. Remember that we have calculated total current is 8, and uh, current passing through the, in the parallel combination, that is uh, the emitter, which is 6 ampere. Now, right. I2 is equal to, again, total current 8 into R1, R1, you have to take opposite resistance that now I will take it 2 divided by 2 plus 6, 8, that is 2 ampere, that is 2 ampere. Children. So this is the way to do this question. And again, children, if you know some other method, you are most welcome to apply that method, but answer should be same. You can't say, sir, I have used this method, but the answer is different. So then you have to think about that method. Uh, okay, after ammeter reading, we have done here with the six ampere is the current. Without further calculation in D part children, state what happens if anything to the ammeter reading, if the two ohm resistor is shorted out, shorted out with a thick piece of wire. <coughs> 
ethan can you find out the answer of this d part d1 and look at the statement again children two ohm resistor resistor is shorted out with a thick piece of wire what do you mean by this statement here anyone from 10th class two ohm resistor is shorted out with a thick piece of wire uh, the current will increase as the resistance decreases wire resistance is there means this said uh, actually from this question it is a little bit confusing question children that uh, um, if i understand the statement in the way that they said they are saying that if they remove two ohm resistance short it out and if they put a thick wire there am i right children they just put a thick wire by replacing two ohm Ten plus. You tell me, children, that uh, I may be wrong. That uh, in understanding the statement, uh, that the language issue, it may be they had said, short it out. What do you mean by short it out? What the examiner want to? What he is trying to ask? Two ohm register is shorted out. Anyone from tenth class having good command in English? Yes, please. I'm looking for your response, children. Disabled. Okay, yeah, I know. They disabled. Disabled means that uh, they removed. So, like, basically taken out here. Okay, thank you, Nadia. So, if they have removed a two ohm resistor and they have put a wire, thick wire. Oh. Again, children, in thick wire, oh, what is the length? But we know that if a thick wire is there, R is inversely proportional to area. In thick wire, more electrons are there, and uh, more current will be there. So if thick wire is there, means area is high, you know, resistance decreases. But we don't know, children, that we have replaced the 2 ohm. 2 ohm is a small resistance. And we don't know that if we have applied a wire, so that wire maybe have the same kind of resistance, same resistance it can offer. So uh, I will go with the marking scheme. In the marking scheme, they said that, that there is no change. Same. So it means 